the hell's going on in my chat? Look, I stepped away to make tea. And what's going on here? Firefighter Emily with the gift bomb and another five? What the hell is going on? Thank you very much, One Stone, for the Raptor Egg membership. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome aboard. Wow, Supermarket Simulator do one of the hottest games out there. Lots of people playing it, enjoying it, and I can't stay away. But I'm back, and a little early, too. I was out doing some uh, cool stuff, getting ready for it. Big announcement. Anyway, uh, let me grab something real quick, and then we'll we'll begin. Thank you for shopping by, everybody. Let's yeah, let's go shopping. Let me uh, grab something real quick, and then we'll start the shenanigans. Thank you very much, everybody, for all the support. One in the chat, chat where yet? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what's up, Thundertaker? Yo, one's in the chat. All right, it's been a busy day, everybody, so thank you very much for uh, being patient. There's been some really cool stuff going on. I can't wait to share it with you. So thanks, as always, for uh, watching, supporting, and shopping with uh, us, whatever our store name is, because we can't name it yet. Also, some of you were telling me that we can actually move the computer station, even though I, I didn't see a prompt for it. Um, yeah. So anyway, welcome to uh, this $10 game that everybody seems to be playing, enjoying. And me too. So let's jump back in and uh, welcome back, y'all. Ooh, it's nighttime. Well, let's finish our day because it is not a day. It is night. Oh, boy. Uh, how do you get this game as early access? Well, you can get games that are early access on Steam. Uh, early access doesn't mean that it's, like, not available. Early access means that you can get access, but it's not a complete game. So they're basically telling you that you're buying like a super glorified demo, but usually it's at a discount. So if you get into a game early, sometimes the risk can be worth the reward if you truly trust the game and if you don't bother too much about it. You heard the sound of business in progress? I know. Well, where are we going? Oh, that's it? You just stopped there? Where, where are they going? Oh, got a red car. Oh, it's a red light. Ooh, does the traffic actually obey the traffic laws? Let's see. Wow, that is a long light. Wait, is this Swiss? What the hell are Swiss plates doing here? Those are more New York right there. Well, more American anyway. Oh, looks like they actually obey the traffic laws. Plus one to the developers. Plus one to the developers. Hell Divers 2 tonight? Mmm. No, I think we... Well, I don't know. So, I had to move some things around in my schedule. This is our PM. But I could do a super ultra mega late PM. But I don't know what everyone else's schedule is. In other words, I've started later. And I know Red does like a stream about an hour from now. And then he does a stream past that. So I don't want to like interrupt or intrude. And that is kind of a multiplayer centric game. So, all right, let's see if we can move this thing. Chat said, oh, you, oh, you have to look at the computer to move it. Oh, I was looking at the desk. And I'm like, no, guys, you can't move it. There's no way. You can move it. Oh, look at that. Cool. All right. Well, I guess we'll put it over. Well, I'll leave it here for now. And then maybe we'll move it over there. You can move the computer, dude. All right. So I guess we'll put it over here eventually. But anyway, uh, we got a lot of stuff to stock our store with. And boy, did we discover so much about milk yesterday, everybody. Wow. Such a such an adventure. Oh, you want me to get a name tag on? Or did you say manager? Probably. Okay. Um, I think this store is pretty much ready to open because we stocked everything last night, but maybe we should go for a full stock. We got 1800 bucks in cash, and I want to get up to level 20, so let's do that. Uh, we're going to buy a bunch of tea, -hee, maybe a bunch of orange juice. Oh, we could move the... We'll move some things around. Let's buy... Let's start... Let's start from the, the left side of the store. Let's buy a bunch of sodas. Get everything all prepped and ready. We'll buy two of these, two of these, and two of these. I think there's like Diet Coke or something on the left. But whatever. Just imagine your favorite drink and that's what it is. What are these? Oh, the tea. Apparently we bought tea last night or something. I don't know. Whatever. 
get back to owning our business. We're minding our own business, chat. Think about that. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'll be the final boss. Like, remember that boss in um, Grounded? There's actually, like, the assistant manager. You can fight him. Or something like that. You need a soda? You wonder if you have a few in the basement? I'll go check. We'll, we'll wait. We won't wait, but... All right, let's put some apple juice over there. That ain't full. There it is. Okay, we got them orange, orange juice. Put some orange right there. Got all the cheese locked and loaded. Beautiful. Yeah, let's get that other soda. We got more greens. I really do wish um, there was some sort of way to connect this to the storage room and not have to go outside and down the hall or whatever. Sons of the Forest tonight. Well, again, like I was saying, I, my schedule's all off for today, so I'm starting early for what would normally be our PM stream. Uh, I've been doing some really uh, big stuff lately. Some big stuff going on, so... I'll explain it all in a couple days. You guys will like it. You'll be excited. It's good stuff. All good stuff. Oh, uh, we bought uh, some of the diet. Let's do that. International delivery. When I say this is big, better than big ambitions, well, this one's first person and kind of more like trader life sim. But um, the nice thing about big ambitions is that you can explore a whole city and drive around. You can actually buy like more furniture and you can actually start office buildings. So I know in that game you can start like a, uh, a grocery store, you can start a clothing store, you can start a law firm, gift shop, uh, I think like a burger place. In this one, it's just the grocery store. But I would love to see a game like this expand into all the things I just mentioned. Like, imagine, you know, coming to your supermarket and stocking the shelves, then going over to your gift shop and doing the same, or covering a shift for somebody, then going over to, like, a, um, I don't know, some other store that you own. That would be the ultimate game, would be what you could do in Big Ambition. But, like, imagine a, a map or a game that looks like Grand Theft Auto V, and the city is that big, and you can actually own and operate those businesses. And you'd have to figure out ways to like, you know, at the start, you can just buy a van and go down to a thing and buy a bunch of stuff and then put it on your shelves. But then eventually you gotta start like a trucking company because you got multiple like um, locations or something like that. That Like that'd be cool as hell. You could drive this, the semi truck yourself for a little bit. That'd be the ultimate game. That'd be the ultimate game. If it had the detail of like ATS and Euro truck, but then it was a city like GTA or something, that'd be amazing. That's, that's what I really like to do. Games where you're working together with people towards a goal rather than blowing up stuff or whatever is cool. Like, those are hard games to make because it's like, how do you make leveling up and stuff fun? Like, this game doesn't really seem fun, but a lot of people have just been saying the, the grind is the fun. And if you've ever... I mean, many people have worked these jobs before, but it's different if you've ever owned uh, a place before. It becomes a whole different game. So this is like the dream of having a small business loan. Is this flower? It is. I also hope for the uh, game to have more shelves in the future. Like, it'd be really cool to have many different shelf options. You know what I mean? Yo, hey, what's up, Indrid? Good to see you. Okay, so, uh, water. Buy one of those. I do like in this game, too, that they give you all the time in the world to prepare and time is frozen at the beginning. It's like when we played... I, I don't know why this didn't want, didn't catch up uh, on yet, but... Oh, we have actually tons of water here. Perfect. Okay, we won't ever need water again. Didn't know that. But it's like when we played the Kebab Simulator, where it's like uh, there's a lot of great co-op games out there. I, I hope a lot more people find a Kebab Simulator because it was uh, stressful but cool. But yet another early access game that needs more features, and it will get it eventually. We just need to be patient. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Oh, we need more pasta, and more cereal, and more bread. Let's do it. Pasta. Cereal. Bread. Why does, why when I type in, oh, CE because of sliced, I see. Sliced bread, whoa. Boom.
Man, this is more enjoyable than working at a shoe carnival. Spin that wheel, baby. Boom, boom. Raptor, why are you talking? Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I'll be quiet. That's weird. A few badges have disappeared from everybody's name on YouTube. I only see uh, Alloy. Alloy is the only member right now, according to YouTube. Congratul <laughs> Congratulations, dude. For me, it only shows you. Congrats, man. You've uh, eliminated all the other... You are the final survivor, dude. You and Jeff Probst are going to go out to a Wendy's. And he's gonna high five. Oh, there we go. Now the now the the badges are coming back in. That was a weird YouTube glitch. Oh, now I see Indrids again. All right, it just refreshed. Okay, YouTube broken. Surprise, surprise. Do I sell any fireworks in the back? No, we're aggressive. We sell them out front. We we'll call our store F the police. Disregard the authorities and acquire fireworks. That was too long of a title for the store. But you know stores, they have to have like a pun. Or they have to sound like really exotic and like fancy. Like, uh, Mon Ami. Like, oh, okay. Oh, we need even more pasta. We didn't get enough pasta. That's impossible. How did we not get enough? Yeah, I wish this game... Yeah, uh, I, I've seen things like... Um, apparently you can have sales and stuff in the game eventually, but uh, hopefully this paves the way for a bunch of other um, s store games. But I don't really know the stores that get a lot of people in them as fast as like supermarkets and... Uh, a convenience store would be interesting where, like, you sell gas, too, and have to sell other things like, you know, uh, the windshield wiper fluid out front. Like, you know, in America, it's like the propane and the ice machine and the, um, yeah, all, all the other, the extras, you know. The donuts and the, uh, the, the hot dog rolling thing and the orange Julius and the ice cream machine. Or you can go there and get birthday cake flavored Kit Kats, you know what I mean? Late at night, you're just looking for something to do, and you go out for some birthday flavor Kit Kats and only eat one of them, and then leave somebody else to eat the rest. Criminal acts. Some of you probably do that. All right, we need peanut butter. nut butter bro look at the back of that taxi it is like weighed down as hell who is in the back of that taxi Iron Man is it crunchy or creamy peanut butter it is it is peanut butter all natural one kilogram I don't know what that means what the hell is a kilogram I love how I started referring to this UHT milk as sin water. Hilarious. That was great. Well, since we don't have anything else on the shelf, we may as well go full full peanut butter, I guess. May as well stock it. Uh, well, we could buy another license for something else. Are we stocking everything that we need? Let's buy another thing of. Uh, how do you? What's what's that called again? No. Oh, wait, it's called, uh... Oh, that's right, the six-pack, right. What happened to my second register? Uh, I put it in the box to make more space for shelving. So I put our employ... It's right there. I packed it up. Uh, we're going to have this guy do all the checkout while I stock the shelves, and then when we get some more money, we're going to buy some more sp uh, space. And then, Actually, maybe when we hit level uh, 20, I'll hire another person. Because I'm, uh, I don't mind doing the whole checkout thing, but I'd rather 
at this point, just do the management and the stocking. That seems to be the most enjoyable part. Checking prices and stuff. Alright, let's check and see if we got everything on the shelves. Oh, I need to buy more orange juice, don't I? And maybe cheese? Ok, Ost, ok, uh, Appelsinen. Yo, okay. Let him in Ost. No, we're already out. Maybe it's time to buy the storage next door. I need a thousand bucks for that. I think we're gonna do that, but I need to, uh, I don't know, I feel like I gotta have full shelves first. Like, I feel like I wanna have everything stocked up. Because what would be nice is to be open for three or four days and not have to do anything and just print money. But you're right, like eventually we should do that. Undo 10. Hopefully we can sell bacon soon, huh? Okay, let's check uh, availability again. So cereal, bread, flour, oil, pasta, cheese, coffee, eggs, milk, tea, tea hee. Yeah, we got everything on the shelf that we own. All right, maybe it's time to buy a new license. Uh, this would unlock. Uh, Cereal, chocolate bars, yogurt, cakes, and candies. Or. Oh, we can unlock dishwasher stuff. Oh, okay. We can actually buy, like, um, utility stuff. Now, that's cool. Yeah, because you can buy dishwasher stuff at the grocery store. I think we should sell something other than food all the time. We also have uh, mozzarella cheese and Parmesan. Also, honey tuna, eggs, and. Oh, eggs in a four pack. And sh powder, more pow powdered sugar. Oh, we got butter cereal chicken. We might need to actually have a freezer for that. That might even be more money. I'm going to go for the, uh, the utility. Shampoo, hand soap, toilet paper. All right. I'm going with that. Pay some bills. All right. Let's buy some stuff. We already have the shelf space, so all we gotta do is stock it, you know? Let's buy... Dishwasher stuff. Whoa, that's already 159 bucks. Ooh, that might make us a lot of money, then. Toilet paper. Shampoo. Cleaner. Hand soap. Bleach. That's one of everything, I think. I think that cleaner is like window cleaner. It's called sun dries, not utilities. Sun dries? That's the first time I heard that word. Well, I guess you just call it household. What do they call that department? Household? Households? Household? Not appliances, but. I don't know. Different parts of the world and different people say different things, I guess. I've heard toiletries, I've heard kitchen cl clean, like cleaning supplies, I guess you could call it that. Although this is a little bit everything, like we've got hand soap, what, what I'd imagine to be, oh that's like Mr. Clean. That's definitely Mr. Clean right there. So like, uh, we got spray on, what is that, bleach or whatever, more bleach, hand soap. Sears did that? Really? Never heard of that. That's a colloquialism. Or like a local... Oh, hell yeah. Pickup truck, brother. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa. That guy almost ran in the back of that taxi. Dude's not paying attention. Did you see that? 
Drew Brees with sundries. Yeah, I got you. I don't look. Our goal is just to stack as much crap on these shelves as we can. Is that toilet paper or is that... That's toilet paper for sure, right? Oh yeah, that's like Charmin. Oh my god, what, is, what does the logo look like? Well, let's put it here. Doo-doo. It's a mole. There's a lot of uh, symbolism going on here with this toilet paper brand. They may... A lot, lot, of, lot of symbolism, a lot of... A lot of win yeah, okay. And what's this? Clean dish. The maxi pack six six hundred of those in there? Holy hell, you'd never need to buy one of these again. Six hundred? That's a lot. Ah oh, yeah, nothing like a powdered dish soap next to flour. I'm sure there's no conflict of interest in there at all. I'll figure out uh, placing stuff later, okay? Okay, chat. All right, fine, we'll do it now. Okay, let's do it all on this side. Need a small box. that there. Okay, cool. Alright, boys, you're coming with me. Actually, wait. No, no, we'll, yeah, we'll leave peanut butter there. We'll leave peanut butter there. This is all going to be for uh, sundries, chat. Apparently that stuff's going to sell for a lot of money. The, uh, what was it the dish soap? Maybe we should put the UHT milk and like uh, sundries in the European specialties aisle. It'd be a rare import aisle. box doesn't match the size. Really? It must have been a, diff a bigger box for the bleach then. I'll figure that out. Okay, so... Did these go in here? That shampoo. Need a vegan aisle. Uh, here's some water. There you go. There's our vegan section right there. Avocado flavored water. Uh, where were we? So we're going to move milk over here. Can I buy more bleach so I can get a box to move that around? Players, I just want a box. Eventually, they're going to fix that so you don't have to buy boxes to move stuff. Oh, damn. This comes in like a mega box. Whoa. Okay. Maybe we'll just put bleach all in the bottom. had a dream about the queen in your basement? Which one? Elizabeth or Freddie Mercury? Pretty sweet if you're thinking about queen having concerts in your basement. That'd be pretty that'd be a pretty sweet occurrence. That'd be pretty cute. Okay, so we got bleach on the bottom. We got hand soap. Maybe we'll put the uh, the shampoo on the same 
like this a little high up, but we'll, we'll, we'll zero it in. We'll lock it in. We'll lock it in. Don't you guys send me UHT milk in the damn P.O. box. I can't control what you send, but can you even send UHT milk via the mail? Oh, that would be... I wouldn't even believe that. I don't even think you could do that. There's got to be even... I feel like somebody would be concerned about spoilage, even though, it, like, oh, dude, this milk will last longer than diesel fuel. It's like, nope, I don't believe it. Okay, so we've got uh, milk here, peanut butter there, lots of cool food, breakfast stuff here, pasta flour. I like how it's all set up. Oh, yeah, the toilet paper and stuff. We want to move that over here. The box doesn't match. Oh man, the toilet paper needs an even bigger box. Like a few different box sizes in this game. There we go. Eventually we'll move the toilet paper over here. Challenge accepted. Alright. I'm going to get like 46 gallons of milk. Like I'm going to be carrying milk to my car. Sir, do you want us to get you a forklift? Yeah. Oh, you're the milk guy. Yeah, we were talking about you. You got you got the record for the most amount of dairy products delivered in a day for the U.S. Federal Postal System. Congratulations. Here's your, here's your award, sir. You're the Duke of Dairy. Dude, Wisconsin's going to invite you out to become governor. <laughs> Like, the GDP of uh, Wisconsin has been doubled just in, like, a day. Me at the award ceremony. I'd like to thank the chat for memeing and dreaming. Uh, never stop scheming. Uh, thanks. Yeah, we have cheese. Um, I think we've stocked everything that we needed. We'll see what's more popular. We are kind of out of money, though. You remember when milk came delivered to your front door? Yeah, I can kind of remember people ordering farm fresh milk still. Years later. There was a place called, like, Simon Delivers or something like that that eventually, I think, just got bought by Amazon or whatever. Like everything. Hey, cool business idea. It's ours now. All right, I think we're going to just open up and, uh, you know, get get our day started. All right, stand by. Let's see what we get. Oh, look, it's Wendy from Wendy's. The day's starting off right, boys. Uh, UHT skim milk. Uh, bro, isn't that, isn't that just water? That's just got to be water. I can't believe it. Is somebody really going to send UHT milk? Whole milk, and then I'm gonna make mashed potatoes out of it. I'll die. It'll be too pure of water. It'll be too too much water content. I'll die. Oh, you're right. I didn't set prices. Oh my god, chat. You're right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alert. Whoa. Twenty twenty two dollars. Oh my god, we, we need to have an, a, an emergency price set. Oh my god. Oh my god. Capitalism alert. All units. That's yeah, free samples, chat. It's free samples. A little marketing. A little marketing. 
little marketing. It's all good. Get him in and be like, that store doesn't charge for their products. And then boom, next day we got him. Locked in. Flash sale on toilet paper, yeah. I knew I was forgetting something, but I was like, nah, I'm, I'm good. No, we're not. Alright, I think we're good now. That's right. Uh, yo, Dragon Queen, thank you very much for the two tier one gifted subs on Twitch. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. What do you line? All right, first of all, we're buying more toilet paper. That stuff sells like toilet paper. Oh, I should save these boxes too so we can move it later. People really wanted that uh, the doo doo deluxe. Oh wow, you can actually see the register too. That's cool. Shampoo. More hand soap. More dish stuff. More bleach. See, I wish we could buy a smaller, like, we could put an end cap there, but... and eh, maybe we'll do another f uh, refrigerator or something. A couple more dranks there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mongrels going right for... Wow, wow, wow. Soda's too expensive for me, sir. I low on those prices, like 20 cents. Yeah, more shelf options would be nice. We could do a little bit more optimization of uh, shelving. And then also uh, more custom orders too, like for things that we buy. Although I guess we are buying a box at a time. Not gonna get much smaller than that really. Welcome to Jank Mart. That would be so cute indeed. Yeah, the, the little kitty that waves, yeah. to get another cashier 
Wow, yeah. Uh, apparently, there's going to be more employees coming in the future that'll do stocking and whatnot for us. But for now, we got to do this. So I, I think it's best to just get the cashiers locked in. And then we're going to just have to do all the shelving ourselves and adjusting prices each day. Woo. are making money, yep. Glad we give... Like, I feel like most products need a whole shelf dedicated to them because since we're only one person. Too bad we can't. Oh, it'd be nice to be able to put a box within a box to be able to, uh, you know, like throw it out. Oh, there's still more in there. fire now. Oh. Almost tipped over the leaning uh, pile of uh, cheese. Uh. We gotta start putting the ecto cooler on the shelves for the kids. Love that Ghostbusters, those kids. Is this pasta? flower. Yeah, now we just need a second cashier, 100%. Do items expire? Um, I don't think so. But that might be something they could add in the future. Wow, look at all the eggs they bought, too. Jeez. People are having omelette du fromage. Come on. was very upset when I wrote Hamlet one time. When I read Hamlet, found out it had nothing to do with, like, ham. I thought it was a recipe. What are all this learning stuff? Oh, you started playing right after my first stream? Awesome. You, you like it too? That's good. Hey, I'm glad you guys are finding games you like. I, I've been seeing... a. I thought this was a cool game, and when I saw a lot of other people playing it, I was like, yep, I, I want to play this one now. I absolutely have to play this one. I still feel that way about, like, uh, Beer Factory and stuff. It's cool to, like... I don't know, man. These, these little, like, one-person dev... Maybe you could call them acid flips or whatever. It doesn't matter. If it's fun, you should play it, especially if it's only a few bucks. And a lot of things are people will buy assets and make fun games. Not everything has to be, like, handcrafted all the time. Wow. We made uh, what, over 1400 Wait, we made a lot of money today because I went and bought a lot of stuff. Woo! What a day. What a day, what a day, what a day. What a day. Now we need to buy tea, he, orange, and apple, and cheese. So let's dock them shelves. So tea. Uh, orange. Apple. Egg. I'll buy two of those. Milk. Uh, cheese. 
Yeah, that. Oh crap! They're closed after nine. That's right. That's right. The order will save. Twenty-four satisfied customers. Nineteen products found expensive. Hmm. I'll have to figure out which which that was. Wow, what a day. We're mostly just grinding out the XP. That's what we want the most. Money comes and goes, but that XP... I'll have to figure out what product was too expensive. Could have been some of the new ones we put down. Yeah, we'll move uh, pr um, prices closer to market value, yeah. That'll be our next step. Go through everything and take a peek for the day. I love that we have all the time in the world in the mornings to stock and organize and make sure everything's good to go. Okay, more milk. We'll let the milk sit out and in the sun, it'll add flavor. All right, and then cheese. More. Capri Suns. Yeah, we're going to put some Capri Suns in there. Okay. Waffy looks fine. Tea looks fine. Cheese, yeah. Water. Old. Lunchables? Oh, uh, those probably have to go in the refrigerator aisle, right? Well, some of them. We need, uh, we need cereal. What else we got over here? Nothing. We're level 17 now, baby. Welcome back to the game. You've chosen your sunglasses well. Thank you very much. Feeling good. Looking good. It is good. Today is good. Okay, we got to buy more uh, different types of cleaner. But let's start over here at the pasta again. Buy blue flour and some sugar. Start setting prices. Gotta get that money. Bum, 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 bum. 
Oh, didn't order. Need to place our order. Yeah. All right. We call dish, dishwasher tablets. <laughs> and then I can buy, buy a big old thing of paper again. The sin milk. Price adjustment time. Okay, almost there. I'm happy with all that. Let's open it up. Let's go. So our plan is to eventually keep this going until we hit level 20. And when we do, we'll expand the store, put down the second cash register that we already purchased, and at level 20 we can buy another employee. Uh, like, like we could put down their thing and then hire them. So now we just gotta play the waiting game.
It begins. Big business begins. Uh, we have a storeroom that we have to buy for a thousand bucks over here, but we have to go outside to get to it. Which is like... I don't know if I want to store stuff, but I can just buy it and it's instantly teleported to the street. At a certain point, we'll probably do that. We'll have on hand the most popular items all the time and then uh, sell them more frequently. You want to play it when there's controller support? Hell yeah. Yeah, the trucks and stuff sound like diesel tractors driving by. Uh, does the supplier have sales so you can buy low and sell high? Yes. That's actually a good point you bring that up. Then that would make the uh, storage room really important. Because if they have a sale on toilet paper and you have plenty of it, you can buy a little bit more. And then... Better, yeah. yeah. Anytime you just... Even if you didn't sell high, if it went back to its normal price, that would still be fine. Any discount, you just buy it. Good idea. Although... I'm assuming when we unlock this room, we also have to expand this too and buy shelving for it. So it's a thousand bucks for the room and then we probably want to buy shelves to put stuff on. And I don't even know, I don't think we can store the boxes on shelves. I think there's only, I think the game only has these shelves for products. We'll get there when we get there. We'll see how it works.
Are there rival NPCs in the game? That would be interesting if other things created competition in the game. I guess that's just implied by market price. And that some of these items can be purchased not at the gro at, at this store. Like, for example, people might be able to go to a convenience store and get olive oil. Are we there yet? Yes, we are there. We're very close to the end of Pacific Drive Chat. Very excited. Tomorrow we'll be playing that again. Can we sweep? The dramatic conclusion of Pacific Drive. Yeah, we're selling uh, cleaning products, yep. I need to buy whatever that is. Cleaner. Oh, closed after nine, okay. Well, we'll have to buy it tomorrow. I think eventually we might be able to paint this place. I've seen pictures of different colors in the store, but I don't think we can do it yet. In this version of the game. I like how it says press enter to end the day. It's like, bro, we got people in line. I gotta get that second cashier going. the store bigger for 1300 Stock our shells while we wait, though. People are stocking up. People are loving the lower prices, yeah. Still overpriced, but still low. Got to put out more of that bleach. Yeah, we're going to get another checkout area soon. That's our next plan. So, the only thing holding everything up... I got a plan, chat, but here's the problem, right? If we're going to do... We want to hire a new person, but we got to get to level 20. So, my goal is to not do this. Not to do any of the checkout stuff. I want to be able to, like, manage the, the store. We do have another checkout aisle here that I could plop down, but like it's it's going to take up all the space of the store. I want more space for products because that's what they're going to buy. 
I don't want the convenience to be to the customer. I want the convenience to be to my profits, money. Yes. That's why we're introducing self everything. You are going to go down to the docks and you're going to get your CDL. You're going to drive the truck here. You're going to offload the truck and bring it into our storage area. Then you're going to stock the shelves for me. Then you're going to pick up your items for yourself. Then you're going to check it out and you're going to pay me and you're going to leave. And I get all the money and profits. Absolute obedience to the shareholder. Not even just value, but just absolute servitude to the shareholder. Mm -hmm. Damn, we sold out a flower? Look at that. <laughs> Late stage capitalism. No, it's called end game. The end game. Capitalism, colon, the end game. All right, um... Yeah, you think they're going to trip over boxes? We're going to get a lawsuit? Yeah. Well, show me in, in the rule book where it says a donkey can't play football or a goat or whatever. Because that's what companies will do to maximize profits. It's the, uh, the ultimate defense. Okay. I think eventually I want to put another freezer there. But I think that's too too wide for that. Well, we could put it over here. Oh, I think we did want to move this, didn't we? Meh. Actually, you know what we could do? Should we buy another aisle here? more stuff. That dog can't play hockey. Show me in the rule book. Oh wait, we have to wait until tomorrow anyway. Can't buy furniture till AM. Hey, w look, we went from 19 to only 6. Good. And three products not found cuz we run out of we ran out of stuff. That's all right. That's not that's not bad. Cool. All right, so let's uh, redo our, our shelving a little bit because I like it. Let's go to oh wow well, oh wow that's that's talent. Oh, we could put eh, that's, that's a little weird. We could do it, but a little it looks a little weird. I don't want things to be too crowded, you know. I do wish we could adjust shelving sizes, though. It'd be, it would be nice to cut off the, uh, cut this one off here, like remove that top shelf, and then you'd be able to look over it. It would just look a little more. <laughs> this, <laughs> this store must survive. Yeah, Frostpunk meets um, Supermarket Manager in this crazy crossover. Steerhead, toilet paper is not stocked. And where the hell is your avocado toast? Also, the generator shutting down. What the hell you want me to do about it? I'm running this door. I don't have nothing to do with that. Favorite part about going to Japan, by the way? If you guys are thinking about going to Japan or whatever, if you happen to go... Uh, Go into a place called Lawson's or a 7-Eleven or a Family Mart. You will probably find Family Mart first and then Lawson's and then finally 7-Eleven. By God, if you see those stores, you need to go in there. 
It is such a crazy vibe of coolness. <sighs> These must fit perfectly. link up perfectly. That's better. You saw a taxi life sim coming out next month? Yeah, they sent me an email. I have yet to uh, take a look at the game. Well, I did take a little look at it, but not, not too in-depth, so I'm not sure what that, what kind of a game it is yet. I love these life sims, though, guys. Like, seriously. There's so many good ones on the, on the channel. Hobo Tough Life. Um, Metro Sim Hustle. Doing, like, side quests for NPCs and stuff. So weird. So weird. Kooky and wacky. Whoa! And this happened. Let's do hand soap and cleaner again. Oh, we can... Oh, we can buy a cake display? Oh, no, I see. Oh. When the hell did I buy all that? I don't remember unlocking that. Uh-oh. Okay. Wow, flower was popping off. No, we don't have any sweet baby rays yet. Soon, though. soap now. Yeah, toggle snap would be nice for the grid for laying stuff out. Absolutely. I think we need a, a, a grid for the ceiling, too. Because, like, not being able to, like, place the lights perfectly is so infuriating. Like, no. <laughs> it, it's really weird how the light layout works. Because once you... You can get the lights perfect, and then the moment you expand the store, it's ruined again. Because then you got to move all your... You know, it's like when you expand a room in The Sims, then it's like, well, now I want to do the redo the ceiling lights again. Uh, 
I do wish we could sell some stuff out in front of the store, though. You know, like uh, bags of charcoal. Or like a little mini grill. For once in a while, they have some weird out there, like a riding lawnmower, or like a... Or the thing, um, the ride for kids, the, uh, you know, like the little uh, the carousel with the horse and the donkey and whatever, and put in a quarter. That'd be good passive income. Propane tank rental, yeah. Yeah, an ice box out front, exactly. Yeah, we need like uh, our flowers or you know any, anything that you'd sell seasonally. Okay, we need rice. Some things we'll just buy live. Oh, we need we need more of that sin water. Need that sin in water. Charcoal out front, yeah, I think so too. Or like the patio set, you know, sell weird stuff out in front of grocery stores sometimes. Yeah, why are we not selling rice aroni? It's the San Francisco treat. Ding ding. Dude, legit rice aroni is good though. But rice aroni is to uh, rice as stovetop is to stuffing. It just comes down to the insta and then the flavoring. That's all. Rental carpet cleaning system, really? Uh, out at the gro at the supermarket, I suppose. And I, I mean, even vice versa. Like they sell food and stuff at the hardware places sometimes. Not really produce, but I think if you were in a pinch, you could probably pick up some macaroni and cheese. And they got all the snack foods there, too, like uh, jerky. Uh, if you're on a road trip and you see a hardware store, you probably st stop there and get some chips. Everybody's got that at the checkout aisle. Like, hey, you might be buying a, uh, four 2x4s, but how about this thing of Jack Link's for only $84 for just a sliver of jerky? Like, wow. It's like eating prosciutto. All right, anyway, we got more products now. Apparently, I bought new stuff somehow. Apparently, I bought... Oh, there's a new brand of cereal, chocolate bar. Oh, yogurt. Does that need to be... Oh, that's fridge. Oh, good. We got something we can put in the fridge. How to put that in the, free, the refrigerator. Are these... 
Wait a minute, this says cake, but I feel like this could be cookies or something. Oh, we're at maximum 10. This must, is this the... That looks like... Ser raccoon! It says raccoon on it. The hell? Crispy Chibi. Oh, that's cute. Aw. Alright, we'll put the cereal over here then. Chocolate. We get that out later. Now, chat, remember when I say, okay, we're going to open the store, and I forget to price stuff, you got to be like, dude, we told you to price stuff. I want a close-up look at this box. It looks like just bread. hell is that? Is that just a... Oh, it's, it's, it's like a muffin cut in half, but there's chocolate in the muffin? It's like a little vanilla muffin, but in the middle they put a little chocolate shape. Okay. I think that's what that is. Nana bread? Pound cake. Okay. Yeah, the yogurt's got to be refrigerated. Ooh, we can fit a lot of yogurt in there. Yogurt. More of this pound cake chat is on about. Interesting. Oh, here we, what is this? Wheat from France. Bring that straight out to the trash. I'm kidding, Chad. I'm kidding. All right. Uh, I want to buy more of that cereal. And then I want to move this stuff actually back inside to the... Uh, I think we'll do cereal, cereal, uh, snack cake dealies. Okay, we're moving everything around. Did I pay my bills? Uh, I, I, I think I check every day. I don't know if I did or not. Maybe. Okay, so we'll put these next to the milk. Pound cake. Seven bucks for peanut butter, yeah. A 
Whatever the market price is, we must obey. Lord Bezos has spoken. Just trying to get our aisles like all neatly, like just trying to get everything organized. Just trying to make it look good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I wish we could put a store name on the door too. That is something coming soon though. Customization, which I think also implies that we could change the floor and paint the walls and maybe put something on the windows where it'll say like sale or the name of your store in the window, which is cool. I don't know what this dev has planned, but I'm all for games like these. We, we love these games. I love them. In a way, this reminds me of like... I don't know. If this this feels like a mini game that you could do within My Summer Car or something like that. Like if, if that dev continued making games and stuff that were not My Summer Car, this feels like it would be his next game. It's just got that vibe about it. But I really want a fast food simulator game. Like, I, I don't know why we don't have one that's like first person, multiplayer, run a McDonald's. You know, like have somebody on the drive through, have cars come through, make a menu, that kind of thing. You know, I'm surprised we don't have that. There's other games that are like food related for sure where you cook with friends, but nothing, nothing like that. There's an opportunity in the market chat. Swiss chocolate. Played up is like a roguelike puzzle though. Damn it. We need to play more played up. Everybody remind me when I'm like, dude, what do we play? We got to get red in on that. I, I think it was just me and Brad who played it once, but I want to play... Uh, with Indrid and Morgan and, and every, everybody. Played Up is really cool. We've checked that out before on the channel. We have played it, but uh, we play it more, but like I wanted to only play a multiplayer. Okay, I don't know what to do next. Did we put all the products here that are new? Morgan, you would play that? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be great with you. You and uh, Indrid would be great. Oh, candy. We need candy. You and Indrid would be great with, it, with that game. And if we play that, then we got to try to play Overcooked. Because I'm pretty sure... I know I played it before with friends on Nintendo Switch when the Switch first dropped. But I don't think I've ever played Overcooked on the channel. But if we haven't, we got to. What the hell is that? Is that gummy worms? Gummy worms. Oh, I bought multiple. Is that called... What is this product called? Bubble fuzz? Bubble Buzz. Bubble gum, but also like looks like cotton candy. You love gu gummy worms? Yeah, they're all right. My, my tastes have changed more towards chocolate now, but uh, I mean, if someone or, or that Swedish licorice, that black licorice from Sweden hated it. I was like, who the hell would do this? It's so so after uh, a little while of eating it. I got Strami sending me a black market shipment every couple weeks. At least I wish that was the case, but good stuff. Okay, we need cheese and more yogurt. Mm. 
Yeah, we're gonna be bussin'. I can't believe they won't let us put yogurt on top of yogurt. Like, there's no, as you all know, there's it is an impossibility for two cups of yogurt to be placed on top of each other. I insanity. It's like crossing the streams in the uh, Ghostbusters. Like, you don't don't make those beams cross. All right, let's buy some more tea. Snacking yogurt, that's illegal. I know. Yeah, we do need a freezer. But we need money for that. And we need more space. Look, first I'm just... I'm going to try to get that second cashier first. Just so we can get people out of here. Then we're going to work on... New products and expansion. But it all comes down to money. That's what's fun about these games. Like, there's so much to do, but also money. You need money. I need uh, to move that cereal out of there. Uh, what are we going to put here? We got to put something next to the bread. That cereal can just sell out. That's fine. Red and white pasta. Oh, wait. Oh, what about sugar? Oh, yeah, we need that. Pasta. You think that's where we should put the peanut butter? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, seems kind of funny to put the candy next to the, uh, that stuff though. Well, here, I can, I can clean this, this aisle off, that's fine, put that in the box. Okay, and then, oh yeah, bread, I think it's that one, that's sugar. Dude, sugar is probably one of the most uh, like profitable things in the game at the start because it you can put a lot of it on the shelf. And it's not too crazily expensive or not the crazy. certainly could use more bread even more. We're looking like an Aldi's now. Yeah, let's get bread. You know, the only thing missing from this game is the other game that we played like this called Traders, a Trader Life Sim had a TV up on like the wall or whatever. And you could put on like YouTube videos and stuff while you were playing. 
I'd love you know what I'd love to put on right now would just be like a a 90s commercial montage just all the commercials from the 90s while we play like just think about all those kids that we could see you surfing on the Capri Sun remember that the kids would pop you pop the straw on there and boom all the kids are surfing through the neighborhood looking like uh like liquid mercury or whatever be like hell yeah brother and then the surge commercial with the um, the car doing the donuts in the parking lot and stuff be like oh hell yeah you caught up on all this stuff in the 90s hell yeah the only thing missing from this game is tv all right let's stack up on salt we'll do a price check you know, it would be nice if we could manage the prices from here, too. Like, I don't mind being able to go to all the shelves, but it would be nice if we could... Yeah, the fruit by the foot commercials, yeah. <laughs> you miss Gushers? Oh, yeah. Fruit Stripe? Oh, yeah. I know. I could be streaming and then watching myself stream, too. TV Future's a great idea. I know. It'd be great. Then you could... I mean, like, if you're playing this game, like, if someone's playing... Because, honestly, most of us... I, th I think when we play cozy games like this... I don't know about you guys, but, like, if, if I'm playing Stardew or... If I'm in a part of a game where I'm kind of just doing the, the mundane, mindless stuff, which is okay, that's totally fine. <laughs> game should have that like if you're if you're just fishing in stardew you just open up another tab and start watching a video while you're kind of doing that as we're as we're stocking shells it'd be kind of cool to you know watch some something else i don't know damn it chat what do we put here the, pe the chat says the peanut butter do we do a full we do a full peanut butter shelf? That's irresponsible. Well, maybe eventually we can get some uh, jam. And then we can welcome people to it. Welcome to Space Jam. Yeah, I think there's another Power Wash Sim DLC coming out. I don't remember what it is, though. Uh, maybe we'll just add more chocolate, I guess? Alright, let's do uh, another thing of peanut butter. Wait, no. Uh, chocolate times two. Get those Mr. Beast Feastables in here. I heard those were really, 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 really bad. And then got a product redesign and are very good now. This is what I've what I've been told. People are like bland and not great to good. Is what I've heard. But I I don't really care about product drops. I don't know how I'd feel about myself, Chad, if I was in the guys. Pro, new product, new merch just dropped. Even though I say that. Guys, new merch just dropped, exclamation point merch. It's not new and it didn't just drop, but check it out. I guess since I mentioned it. Yeah, we'll get prices in a minute. Okay, I want to make sure we got enough of that. And then, uh, okay, we want peanut butter now. We're going to do prices in a minute. Right, I need to save a little bit of cash for if we need to buy a, a product on the fly. Okay, price check on all the aisles. Chat to aisle all of them. Price check on all everything ever. Are right, we gonna go through every product? Here we go. Okay, the market price here is two twelve. We're going two twenty five. Market price here is two sixty. We're going two seventy five. Market price two fifty eight. We're going to seventy five. Uh, 845, we're at 9. E is at 
Five ninety five. We're at six. Yogurt, two dollars. We're going with two. We'll go with two dollars too. Orange juice is at three thirty seven. We'll go three forty. Two eighty one. We'll go with three for. Was that apple milk? Uh, ap apple milk. Apple juice. Um, three ninety four for four fifty. We'll 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 bop that down to four and a quarter. Eggs are at five ten for five oh six. Milk or two forty eight. Uh, two forty eight. We go two. We'll go two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. Two thirty five for water. We'll go two. No, it's at fifty five. Thirty five. So we'll go two fifty. We'll go two fifty. Carl's Gummies? Ooh, what the hell's Carl's Gummies? They're gummies that are Carl's. Let's go with $4 for bread. Peanut butter at $6.50. Maybe we'll sell more stuff if we lower our prices. Thus, we'll make us money in the end. Go with $3.75. Pretty good price for pasta. Well, I don't know how much that is, but 62. Devil Water is at, uh, t wow, 12.54. Who the hell is buying that? Cakes are at 4.20. <laughs> we'll go 4.25. 2.10. We'll go with 2.10. $9 for this. This is the bear, the bear markup. Choke peak. That's got to be some reference to something. Uh, we'll go with 575 for this one. Chocolate. Uh, 392. We'll go with four bucks. Go 25. Mm hmm. $22. We'll go with uh, $21. Starting to, to bring prices down a little bit. Fifteen fifty. All right, I think we're good. Okay, if I missed anything, speak now or forever hold your peace. We're opening the store now. Yeah, if you set your prices to uh, $19.99, the dumb idiots who buy your stuff will think it's $19. No possible way anybody thinks about that extra penny. But that's still why they do that. That's why they refuse to get rid of the penny. Because there's probably some marketing thing that says, yeah, if we do this over the course of 300 million years, one person might buy something. Okay, dude. Got to do it forever now. God forbid we round up and act like adults. Can't do that. Got to trick and scam. Trick and scam. Ah. Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, Johnny, I would say the best thing to do for you, my man, if, if you got a problem with the game, uh, two things I do. One, uh, jump on the 
a Steam store page for the game and go to the uh, community tab and there might be some FAQs on how to fix like common issues or uh, to report that you can't get into a game. Additionally, if you bought a game on Steam, you should definitely... Um, there should be a way to reach out to f the devs through support or something like that because you made a purchase, so you're kind of like... They, they should try to help you with that. You can always refund it if you can't get it to work or if no one will help you or always feel welcome to join our Discord with the link down below in the description there and maybe ask around there too, but... Not everybody's, every, every computer is different, so you'll have to kind of like search for the solution yourself. But worst case, you know, get a refund and try it back later. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. It begins. Man, that guy's buying a lot of cereal. My wow, peanut butter's flying off the shelves. Look at that. some more toilet paper. Also, uh, they're going to be um, adding the ability to clean the store soon. Like right now, we can't. Um, there's nothing to clean up, but I'm assuming eventually there'll be like garbage cans and stuff. People will track dirt in. Who knew running a store was this easy? Yeah, they certainly made it a lot easier for this game, but it's kind of interesting too, because like goes to show how even for a single like I mean for a mom and pop running a, a shop like this wow look wow this dude can fit all that in there damn bro this guy's a wizard do you see that he, that dude just packed like 12 rolls of toilet paper into something the size of a Chanel bag my god this dude this dude's a wizard look at this guy Wow. What, toilet paper's got... Oh my god. They bought all the paper. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, that needs like two rows. Gotta check the uh, toilet paper price. Fifteen fifty market value. Fifteen forty one. All right. How's the yogurt doing? Soda. I 
I miss that other game we played where we like, uh, we were selling that Kavisa or whatever it is, some sort of a wheat soda drink or something. Oh, that was crazy. Gotta put another shelf over there. Pop it off again. Oh, the toilet paper was a good, that was a good investment right there. touch this other cereal. That will sell a little less than market price. What the fuck? It's gone again. Whoa. Bro, okay, I can't buy any more products. It's too late now for the in the day. All right, so we are literally now just a toilet paper emporium. Dude, p toilet paper is popping off. Like, wow. That doo doo deluxe is just flying. Holy crap. We might have to move the flower to another aisle. I might build a shelf here, and we'll just have to do flour and stuff up against that shelf, and then just toilet paper haven. Oh my god. Wow. Dude, we're the only place in town that offers double ply. Luxury. Luxury import. So we can't buy anything new. We gotta, we gotta wait. I think we gotta wait. I think if I hit escape, I don't, I don't know if we get the money or not for the checkout. So we, we're just gonna wait patiently and just hope. But that's what we need the second register for, so we can finish our thing. Yeah, we can extend our store. It's gonna take a lot of money. But now we know all we gotta do is just sell white gold toilet paper. Just boom. We're gonna buy this city. It's gonna be great. At the end of the week, we're gonna just buy this entire. Well, at least the next three or four city blocks will be ours. Then we bulldoze it all, and then we then we open up a new business. <laughs> Our toilet paper stocks are dwindling, my liege. More toilet paper is needed. Yeah, Johnny, like I said, if you're having trouble with this game, my man, the best bet for you to do is to just jump on Steam and ask there. Because when it comes to technical support, it's kind of impossible to do while I'm playing the game and chatting with chat the chatty chatters. I want you to be able to play this game, too. So, again, I think, I think the best bet, if you've purchased it, is to go to Steam and see if you can contact the developers through, you know, contact support through them. Or check the uh, Steam forums for whatever the issue may be for you. 
If you can't find a solution, do get a refund and try again later if the game updates, if, if you can't run it for some reason. You always have that right as the uh, customer to do that. Can we open different types of stores? Yeah, that's what I'd like to do too. This is called Supermarket Simulator, but I mean, it would be interesting as hell to open up like an auto store. Like this formula would work in so many different aspects. Hardware store, um, furniture store. But I don't think you're, a grocery store gets a lot of throughput because people have to eat every day and people go grocery shopping every day. But it's not every day you go to buy a couch or go and pick up stuff from the auto store. Not everybody goes every day to that. But I think they, it would be fine for a game. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's a, a million car simulators, and like we we played a few car and real estate games and stuff like that. There's these games are golden. This is along the lines of like House Flipper. Like this game isn't like House Flipper, but it is. Like we're not flipping houses, but it's it's got there's something these games have in a vibe like that that I just love. Ooh, this lady's loading up on cakes. Go. Ooh, I'm paid via card. Thank you, ma'am. Charles, thanks for the big O upgrade to a Raptor Ultimate member. Thank you very much for your support. Yeah, Toilet Paper Emporium. We're going to have to call it Ain't That Some Sheet. Wow, what a day. Let's, let's see. Negative 277 in profits. But remember, we started the day by buying like two really expensive shelves. Oh, I got to pay our bills. We'll pay bills right now. Four, $400 we paid in upgrades yesterday. All right, let's pay bills. Okay, bills are paid. Yeah, pharmacy. Yeah, we could put a pharmacy in here too. Okay, I think we got to do some extendo. And then I think we can get on a register too. So that way this guy doesn't have to sit here all day and wait. Like, we, we shouldn't have to wait for him and vice versa. We got 1500 bucks. Most of the sh store shelves are still good to go. Yeah, you have to hire your cashier. And bills are part of their pay, so we, we're all paid up. We're square. Oh, to expand again, it's $1,300. Good, let's do it. Oh, okay. We bought the section over there now. Okay. That's actually a lot of room. That's great. Not so crowded now. This is good. This is real good. So... Alright, so now we got to reorganize the store just a little bit. I think I'm going to put the freezers in the in the corner here along the back wall. Yeah, actually, yeah. So I'm going to put dairy products along the back wall. Some milk, yogurt, cheese. Toilets Russians, Kuala Lumpur. If we, get, if we could just get some sort of snap mode. Oh my god. It'd be nice to be able to put something down and then just snap every other thing next to it. And then we gotta have a, a where we gotta buy a warehouse just for the, the, the TP. Like imagine going to a Costco and it's just thirteen hundred different types of uh, toilet paper. 
And imagine if people treated it like wine. This is our eastern... Um, this is the North uh, Pacific Northwest Pine. Ooh. Assertive without being pushy. Uh, you do not have to worry about shoplifters at the moment, but the developers have confirmed that uh, theft will be eventually a thing. No, calling this. Thanks for the raid, dude. Appreciate the support. Damn, we need more money, chat. I, I, I want to buy more. Uh, maybe we can take out a loan. Should we just take out a big O loan? What's the interest rates on these loans? I, I want to buy like freezers and stuff and get going. What's the uh, percentage? What interest rate is point? Wait, no. Oh, daily interest. What's the slider do? That hell. Oh, it extends the day. <laughs> Return payment would be twenty two hundred. Let's do a Let's do a two week loan. What's the store name? Well, we don't have one at the moment. It just says supermarket. But eventually we'll be able to customize. So I'll ask you guys in the future what we should name it. Right, let's get these lights on too. All right. Well, now we can. Uh... Now we can move things around. So I feel like what we could do here. Eventually, we could buy freezers, too, but I don't, um... I don't have that unlocked yet. I think what we need, we, we just need more shelf space. That's all we need now. So just more shelf space. I'm going to go seven fifty for two of these bad boys. crowded you know what I'll do I'm gonna we're gonna make it the length the width of one let's so scoot it over just a little bit more dude we gotta sell dino nuggets chat all right, we got a special going on Dino Nuggets in the chat right now. Click or tap that join button, become a member or sub right now on Twitch. You get your Dino Nugget emote ready to go, locked in. Frozen Dino Nuggets are on aisle uh, one in the chat. Enjoy. Raptors Beer Emporium. We could sell beer. Oh, but selling beer would be cool. Oh, it's going to be off a little bit. That's going to be so angry. Okay, that's better. And we can put a shelf of something there. All right, we got to move shelves around a little bit, right? So, uh... Toilet paper is going to get its own shelf. I'm going to buy a shelf just for toilet paper. It just has to happen. Oh, 
Oh, that's right, they need the big box. Shells look really heavy, I know. Our prices are prehistoric. I'm surprised that uh, Chris has not changed his name to uh, Chris T.P. Bacon. I'm shocked. The number one prankster in our community. I'm not seeing any pranking going on. Nor do I see the GLA radar van. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Dude's a prankster. You look at his high school yearbook. It says Chris P. Bacon, uh, most likely to troll the chat. That's what it says. Yeah, red coffee. <laughs> red <laughs> with a red coffee mug. Yeah. Dude has like 45 fake accounts. Dude, he's gonna get. They're they're onto him. He's on the run right now. He's on the lamb. Terminator Dark Fate Defiance is fun. I'd like to play that again. I played like the demos and stuff, and haven't had time to come back. Stock up on toilet paper. Oh, chat, this feels good. Now we're gonna like get everything all organized and nice and awesome. Do we have a bigger trash can available? Nah, we can only use that one outside, but I'd assume in the future we might be able to put trash in our uh, store, like a, a can for that. I'm gonna get fined. Got all these boxes out here. People are thinking we're evacuating for like a fire. All right. Well, another thing I think we should do is put the soda in a bigger. We like this. We could just make for water. And then we'll just put soda in like its own. We got we got to step up, step up on the soda. Um, step up. Step up on the soda. Minnesota. Fit perfect. Cool. Just getting everything like re reassigned here. Also, we're gonna put down the uh, other checkout thing. This music's so good. Yeah, this is a, a random DMCA free playlist. Oh, we actually have another box. This flush with this. Okay, so we'll 
put cleaning supplies here. I like how we could just move the whole shelf instead, <laughs> instead of just moving the product. We'll just scoot these around a little bit. Oh yeah, we got the TP unlocked. What about a freezer or two? I'll have to buy products that have to be frozen. I, I think in my mind, every upgrade like that is about 2000 bucks because we got to buy uh, the, sh the license and then the shelving and then the product. And it's somewhere around like 1500 to 2000 something bucks depending on what we buy. Okay, we can put an aisle here. And this is what? Peanut butter and bread, okay. We'll put our cereal in here. Okay, so cereal's going there. this to the left I think can we store toilet paper in the freezer I mean you can at your own house if you want to in the game uh, no I know it adds to the freshness but no how's my organizing so good I like games where we have to work with small space. Oftentimes in games, people be like, dude, upgrade, get the biggest. Dude, go bigger, go big, 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 upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And I'm like, dude, the money is in, ma like if you, if you can make use of every little bit of space you got, that's where the money is. Like monetize every molecule of space. Buying big just gives more room, uh, gives more money to the uh, property owner or who you're leasing the building from. In this case, our loan. We got to worry about that. But this is trial and error, too. We're going to see how this looks. Oh, it's not even blocking the door. Look at that open floor plan right there. That's good. It's not blocking the door. <laughs> yes. Going to get a little crowded there, but we'll work on it. We might be able to put that uh, thing here. There's like two pixels in between those shelves. Chat. Okay, look. You want me to... I'll, I'll turn the stream around right now. Very crowded still, but still good. Okay, we're going to move our little office corner over there. I'm going to go hide in that corner. Hold on, I'm still moving stuff. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Okay, so. So that's cleaning supplies and toilet paper. Then we need something to break up this space. We could put this freezer there. With like a little space in between. boxes are in the way I know we need carpets and stuff I agree yeah we need Im impulse like uh, magazines in the checkout aisle
Okay. Let's get this over in the corner. Or in the corners we can. I, I like that. That's fine. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Not 100% happy with that, but we are limited with our shelving options. Actually, it's good. Now maybe we could put it here, but there there is potential space there for another shelf. Okay, now let's think about our organization, right? So this could be breakfast stuff, right? So we got you know bread, peanut butter, coffee, and tea, right? We should probably put cereal over here. So let's mix these two around. So we'll just move the whole shelf. Easy. Cereal, coffee, tea. On the back side, that the sin water. We should put the sin in water over here. Milk goes with the cereal as well as the, the breakfast cakes and stuff, right? That's a snack, but also a breakfast item, which kind of blends in with the whole, you know, chocolate and other stuff like that, right? Then flour and stuff, we can put that in the back. That's not going to be... People aren't going to use that as much. And then sugar and olive oil and oils. That kind of goes in the baking section. So I, I want to put these two together somehow, these two. Damn it, if only we had a smaller shelf. Or, wait a minute. fine. Alright, so there's your baking goods, right? Uh, uh, the salt could probably go over there. <laughs> Lol. Just the, the sea of just trash. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. We'll be opening soon. Why are you running? Okay. Um, add some more yogurt. All right, we gotta <laughs> we gotta move that water. The running production. Hello. Okay, we need another shelf. Let's buy one more shelf. You know what's fun about this game too is that it, um, because the um, the map gets changed. Like every time that you buy new space, it kind of changes the map. So you got to kind of like work with the space, which is kind of neat.
I'm creative. I'm creative as hell when it comes to like you know, not having everything perfect and just trying to make it work. I can make things work. I've seen Tim Gunn. I'm happy with this. That's the best I can do for that one. Can't believe the game just doesn't give us a tablet. So many of these games you just hit tab and then you're just given like, you know, you could just order everything like that. Yeah, we came a long way from water and bread. We did, yeah. From our early prison. We were selling only to prisoners. Basically. Box doesn't match. What the hell, water? Alright, I'll buy some more soda. I need to move those around. Okay. Oh, this could be so cool. We'll put soda here, I guess. Nope. Oh wow, it went to the one behind. Now, we can't have beer or wine. I I'm assuming they don't have beer or wine in the game because that would be alcohol, and then that changes the, the age rating of the game. And it becomes like a, a mature, like a rated M for mature because they mention that wine exists. Then if they have wine and beer, then people are going to ask for lottery tickets, and then that makes the game about gambling. That could change the rating, too. I don't know. We played plenty of, like, casino games on the channel where you make a casino, and that doesn't seem to be a problem. All right, so what kind of soda do we need? More greens. Man, it's going to be a busy night, chat. Busy night. Yeah, we got soda outside, yeah. Well, anything we have, you know, more of, we can just... We'll stock up on it later, you know. Yeah, where the hell's the Kool-Aid mix? Ain't nothing like that Kool-Aid. sell more. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Alright, there's our water.
Wow, look at all that damn toilet paper. Keep the water box? Yeah, let's do that. Actually, I think the water and the orange juice and stuff all come in the same box. Oh, we gotta move, uh, yeah, we gotta move this water out of there. We gotta get more cheese going. <sighs> East is chalk up, but Aldi's as well. What's your store? Yeah, for me, it's it is probably Aldi's for me too. Although it's a it's a bit further away. Yeah, we could use that storage room. Thousand bucks though. That's that's our next goal. Oh wait, I think there's a um not a Publix near me, but a uh ugh. It's like a Publix, but I can't remember the damn name of it. Either it was something else and became a Publix, or... I'm going to stack up all the toilet paper there. Yeah, in the future in the game, uh, you can hire a, a shelf stalker, but for now, we have to do it manually. But this is fun, though, because we also get to lay out like where stuff goes. So we get to basically place all the shelves, all the freezers. Like, we get to do the designing, and there'll be painting eventually. It looks like it'll be a whole pretty damn detailed uh, management game. Yeah, unfortunately, we got to keep some of the boxes because to move stuff around, we need we need boxes to move stuff. We can't just pull stuff off the shelf and move it by hand. That'll change in the future. Oh, whatever. I'll store more over there. Don't worry, chat. Breathe easy. We're we're organizing things now. We're gonna get it looking nice. It's gonna be nice. Might need that. We'll just have to store some boxes by the door. Yeah, a dolly would be great, yeah, if we could actually wheel stuff in from the street. I'd like to see a delivery truck coming up and, like, a way to plan out deliveries. But that might be a little too, uh, serious for some, maybe. All right, let's move, uh, juices here. We'll do, uh, orange juice on the left. How can I get access to this playlist? It's list? It's great. I want to listen to it at work. Sure. I'll link it uh, for everybody. Uh, you can just Google Lo-Fi Jazz, 12 hours of copyright-free music for creators, DMCA-free music, July edition from the Relaxed Movement on YouTube. And I will uh, link that in the chat as well. There you go.
Thanks for asking. Thank you very much, uh, Soup Wizard, for the five. Appreciate it, dude. Sometimes we'll use something called um, pretzel. P-R-E-T-Z-E-L. And it's a, uh, a service for creators to play DMCA music. But every once in a while, I'll start getting DMCA hits from them. And it'll be like, oh, dude, you got, like, you're, oh, you're playing music that's only in our premium edition. It's like, no, I'm not. I'm only playing on the free station just for like the five minute starts of the stream. And they get goofed up as to what the hell they're doing. So I'm like, well, I'm not gonna pay for your service if you can't even not copyright strike me when it's free. And it also brings up the question too, like if I play it throughout a whole stream and I pay for it, and then that ch the rights change or something, I don't know, that's just so stupid. Some things should just be free and there should be no question about it. Like if you wanna make music and upload it for free, and let people enjoy it. That's a nice thing. But you can't like go back later and be like, oh yeah, it's, uh, it's changed. I've sold my catalog and the properties. Are no. Like just because it changes in the future. Like isn't there a damn. Don't we have laws against that? Where you can't be tried for a crime. That wasn't a crime at the time. But, like if something wasn't DMCA at the time you did it. It doesn't mean it's DMCA later. You can't do that. That should be a crime. Like, oh, we caught you doing 45 miles an hour on this road. That's now 30. You're going to jail. Can't do that. We have an amendment for that, damn it. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Thomas Jefferson and George Washington didn't die for my sins. The DMCA lost strictly in the Constitution. Can read it. Four score in 1976 ago. Uh, F. Walt Disney. Pretty sure is what it says. I haven't read it in a while. I, I don't like have it sitting on the nightstand next to the bed or anything. But uh, based on just skimming it, that's that's what I got. That's what, that that was my takeaway from that. Isn't that double jeopardy? Oh, I miss Alex Trebek now. Yeah, I think that's the name of it, Double Jeopardy. It's like one of the sad things about uh, you know, going back to play like GTA and stuff that you gotta play <laughs> if you're if you're gonna stream it, you basically have to play all that stuff muted because additionally not only can you not monetize it, that's one thing, but sometimes things can be blocked worldwide, so the video won't... You're basically shadow banned, and like the uh, DMCA Mafia shows up, and they're like, oh, that's a real nice channel you have there. Throws a Molotov through the window. Because you played, uh, you know, Hot for Teacher or something like that. Like, come on, man. Treasonous crimes of record companies. No one's no one's buying GTA 5 to listen to Motley Crue. They bought it to play GTA 5. Motley Crue just happens to be in there. It's the other way around. Or whatever. <laughs> Hold my Gettysburg address, brother. Hey, the video I put out earlier today was totally Tucker Hat the game, though. It's like, it was like that commercial from uh, Dodge a few years ago, where like they showed uh, George Washington basically like, like doing donuts and stuff in front of the British <laughs> at one of the battles. But this guy goes back in time. There's a game coming up called Kingmakers where you go back in time, but you go back in time with like helicopters and A-10s and like have to do medieval battles. It looks hilarious. Okay, so the other thing, by the way, another option we should have is to be able to shut down these uh, these cashiers. You know what I mean? Like, I want this lane to be closed until we get really busy. Then I'll open the lane. Not that it should be open all the time. All right, so now we gotta buy some more stuff we're missing, chat. So we need pasta, coffee. So we need both types of pasta. 
coffee. You know, I'm pretty happy with this layout. I'm I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied with this. Obviously we are a little cluttered with crap all over the floor, but you know, it is what it is. some rice oh eggs and I wanted to move dairy just into this but uh, eggs I guess will be alright in the corner like that Next time we'll just scoot dairy to the left, but there's probably going to be other types of milk or other frozen something we can sell. Yeah, the, the shelves are very tidy. The floor, not so much, but uh, we're working on it. Everything's a step-by-step -step process. Oh, we need, uh, let, let's actually do this aisle first. Let's do bleach and those cleaning things. Ice cream? Now we'll have to unlock that. We could do that. Bruh. Put it up there. something here too and there so we can put something here and we have a whole shelf there so we got a lot more room now we got a lot more room running low on cash though haven't yet gotten used to my my own store layout yet Yeah, bleach sells for a good amount of money. We should buy more flour. We do know that goes out pretty quickly. Oh, there was some bleach there. Okay, yep. Yeah. I don't feel like we should do a two and two. Although, this has a lot less shelf space because it's so big, we could do... I mean, that's what, eight per shelf? So we got 16 on display. Hmm. I guess we could do it. Yeah, yeah we're getting there. We're almost ready. Better than leaving empty shelf space, and I don't I don't want to unlock anything else yet. We're getting there. Shampoo, okay, yep, shampoo, good call. That's that is something we do need. Yep.
Okay. Put personal hygiene here. And this could be more space for, uh, I don't know, all the other household cleaning products. What's up, simulator group? Welcome aboard. So we'll buy another thing of the tablets. Good. Oh, we got more space for them. Good. Alright, so we still need something on the last two bottom rows, but we could hold off. Michael, thanks for the 14 months, dude. Thank you very much. I think we just leave it. We'll leave that blank and add to it when we when we buy a new license, I think. There's a storage room here, but we need to buy it for a thousand bucks. We need a lot more money. Our current goal is to try to get to level 20. We just need to be open for a few more days. All right, let's do it. We don't have any new products, so we don't have to set prices, right? <coughs> we didn't we didn't unlock anything new. Prices fluctuate a little bit, but we're okay. Yep, shampoo's there. Yeah, we get to help check out again. Do we have graph charts of sales? No, unfortunately, we don't have like much data on what's selling, and I, I do wish there were more for that. And I do wish like seasons would play a part in what people bought, weather, other things like that. Stock toilet paper? Yeah, we did. We had a whole thing of toilet paper over there. Oh wow, look at this guy. Damn, going in for two. Ma'am, the soap is too expensive. At two fifty? Forty cents, ma'am. Seventy seven dollars and change. My god. Five dollars, no chance. Would have been one hundred and eighty-five. Mm -hmm. 
Hello, ma'am. Perfect change, I guess. Place is bumping. Oh. No. Damn it. Okay, we're starting over, sir. We're starting over. Misclick. I had to give somebody all pennies. <laughs> oh, 25, sir, you're not getting that. It's a lucky dime. Judging. All right, better go check on products a little bit. Yeah, this is good that we got all this shelf space because now we can assist with checkout and make sure things aren't too barren. Bare? Should have said that. Worst case scenario, though, we could just box up our cashier and then put it back later. Oh, we, yeah, that's right. We don't have any lights over here. Gonna have to buy those next. Oh, it's under furniture, I think. to redo all the lighting in here. It's painful to lay that out. Yeah, I don't know if this game has alcohol. I don't know. Starting to get some big spenders. <laughs> cha -ching. Could you imagine a line if that... If we didn't have the second cashier up. I 
think we'll just put out the, the lights randomly in the sky. Organize it later. This place going to be like a flashbang went off when you go in here. It's going to... Like when you open the, the door. <laughs> just put your hand up. <laughs> uh, perfect change, sir. Thank you. Hi, sir. Welcome to Scam Mart. Thank you for scamming with us today. You have a nice day, sir. The demo had wine and whiskey. Oh, all right. Well, you know. Then maybe they'll get that. We have to pay off that two thousand dollar loan for a while, but yeah, toilet paper needs a lot of shelf space because we have to. This play is full. There's literally room right there. The hell. Invisible. All right, let's see. Satisfied customers, twenty seven. Eleven people thought things were expensive. All right, we'll work on that. Total profit, negative $1,600. But that's after we expanded the store, bought a bunch of new shelves and the new freezers, and took out a big old loan. I'm, I'm not, not, even, not even worried. There it goes. Fixed now. that empty box It's olive oil. Boom. And more toilet paper. All right. Time to restock. 
Yeah, this is like Trader Life Sim if the uh, damn game had an auto stocking feature. That would have made that game a lot more, or less tedious and more fun because you would. I, driving to the store to pick up stuff, load it in the car, and then bring it back to your store was kind of cool. Here we just. We get delivered stuff, which is nice. Very convenient for us. Alright, let's start. Uh, we'll start at the front of the store. Bread, peanut butter, and cereal. Let's go. All done. All right, second aisle. We need. Uh, wow, didn't really sell much candy. They must think that's a little spendy. Looks like the price is actually going down. All right, so chocolate and candy didn't sell much, but the milk and the cakes. stack nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get instant delivery. Which makes me hesitate on buying the uh, storage room because things are just delivered here and I'll just store things on the floor to save money. But as some chatty chatters have pointed out, sometimes products will uh, be on sale so we can, even if we have a full shelf of them, we could buy even more products on sale and put them in the storeroom. So that way we actually save a little bit of money or earn money when it comes to selling them. Oh, we need more milk. And now, I'm fine with that. Salt and rice. Salt. Chat, you having a good time? You enjoying the stream? Everybody having fun? Is mandatory fun being had? Is everyone within compliance for fun? 
a bleach hand soap shampoo. Yeah, I haven't unlocked pepper yet. Gotta make the purchase. Okay, flower. Fun is being had. All right, cool. Want to check everybody's uh, IDs. Check soda. Good. Juice. Whoa. Hold the phone. People are buying a lot of that stuff. I see what happened there. That soda got in there from the other side. That's all right, someone will buy it. Okay, orange juice looks fine. Cheese is okay, yogurt's okay, milk's okay. We'll have to restock those. We'll do that actively while we go. All right, let's go. We'll just restock those when we need to. What if we can pay off our loan early? Yeah, I need to uh, remove that one thing, but we'll stand by. We'll see what happens. We're getting locked in. It's a big day. Yeah, I saved just before the start of the day. 
Let's save again. Here we go. Big day of business. Our big business day has begun. How exciting. Ten AM, lots of people are already in the store. Boop. Going for that sugar. Tree fitty. We we'll need about tree fitty. We're locked in. Oh, you want there to be a little bell when customers walk in and out? That'd be nice. Hundred and twenty four bucks. This guy's the big spender. People are frequently now spending more than a hundred dollars. We're locked in. All right, let's do a quick little scout. No, damn it, no. I wish we could just type that damn thing in with our numpad. We gotta use the mouse on like the in-game keyboard, it's weird.
Locked in. All right, good, good, good. No salt cans, man. I don't know. Bingo. Big money. Big prizes. I love it. 8.55. We're about to close. I kind of just want to pay that loan back <coughs> and then we get that storeroom too but we got to get to level 20 and we're close Rather a slow day. And maybe it felt like it just because we were so set up and ready to rock. Alright, let's dock some shelves. Get all this stuff out of here. Good money. Yeah, we took out a loan just now. Yep. I saw someone throw boxes. Where's the button for this? Um... I think you can throw them when you're walking. Something like that. Oh, R. The button's R. Okay, rice is all good. Salt is all good. Water's all good. Uh, we're going to have to wait till the next day, I think, again. Almost three thousand dollars that we made. Toilet paper. I can throw it into the trash can. Like, can you? Now you have to left click. Okay.
Another empty box. Man, we're so close to level 20. I want to get someone else working here and then we could just stock and... What we probably want to do, our end goal, will be to like actually, you know, obviously grow the ga the uh, supermarket, but then being able to run back and forth between stores. We'll be so busy ordering things, expanding, and they'll just be making us money. And who doesn't like some money? Pay off early. Beautiful. Mm, only four products found expensive. Good. Wow, we spent almost $700 on resupply during that. That's crazy. That's crazy! Yeah, we could build a really cool fort with all those boxes. You're damn right. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, bleach. An anime? Peanut butter. All right, we take it from the top again. Bread, peanut butter, cereals. Bread. Oh yeah, we could donate <laughs> give a bunch of cats. If we put it outside, it'd be funny if a bunch of cats moved into the neighborhood and turned it into their fortress. Okay, so coffee and tea. Hello from Thailand. Well, hello. Welcome. Welcome to the Big O Stream. Good to see you.
Alright, buy another one. buy an entire big old thing of milk so we don't have to worry about that for a while does location matter on this uh, on the shelves yeah yes and no like you uh, it is it restricts you to put certain things in certain shelves like for example if you buy eggs they have to be uh, you know they have to go in the refrigerator in this game so uh, milk left. Eh, better doing that than not putting anything there at all. Okay, and we got all this extra room now. He needs some milk. He does. That man can get some milk right here. Alright, so we're gonna buy yogurt now. Is that 30 per box? Oh yeah, it is. Dang. I just found out you could just hold left click. I had been just clicking it the whole time. I had no idea. You just have to hold the left click button. cheese and eggs Okay. 
Yeah, hopefully this will be enough stuff. Nah, no one will sue us for tripping over boxes. They'd be tripping. Oh boy, we're a little low on the oils. Everything else is okay. We're low on money too, so... bleach already all right pasta we all good with pasta surprise oh. we can buy one it is time to initiate big business are those essential oils? They're essential to our profits. Hell yeah. All right, we're going to hit level 20. And grind out these levels. Could take out another loan and extend the store again and redo the um, interior. I think what's going to happen is it'll probably open up over there next to that corner of the wall, but we'll see. There we go, our first customer. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome to Scam Mart. Click or tap join, become a member. Hello, sir. Ching. Big money. They all go to the same gym. Yeah. These people are coming over from uh, what is it called? Gym Manager Simulator or something? Mm-hmm. Same barber, too. Standing by. All right, while we wait, let's stock some shelves.
better believe they bought toilet paper. Goodbye, ma'am. Good. What is this? Is that milk? It is. Back to the register. I want to unlock new products, Chad. I want to sell some new stuff. At least we're selling a variety of everything. Thank goodness in this game we don't have to like break a penny roll or like go into the petty cash safe or anything like that. That'd be so annoying. Nice sweater, bro. Looking good. made that big of a jump already we're not even closed yet we're uh, almost a fourth of the way there that'd be a better way to do it though Seventeen seventy five. Shop smart. Shop has smart. Probably a fake one, like a fake hundred dollar bill. That'd be interesting to see. seem less hectic in the store now. I think it's because we got all of our stuff together. We're making about, what, $1,500 a day? Wow. 
Wow. All right, let's dock some shelves in the morning. Um, finish our day. Let's see what we got. 621 bucks. Nice. Only six products. A little too expensive. Pay those bills. Coffee, tea. I think we'll buy some coffee. Chocolate's starting to get used up in candy. We'll do two chocolate, one candy. Bingo. Oh, look at that. One per shelf. We'll buy one more. Top that off a little bit. Don't squeeze the Charmin. Mm -hmm. No harm in coming to that Charmin. Harmon Rab, the guy who put his aircraft, uh, the uh, F-14, down on his belly in the carrier. No way, the, a national hero. That guy, wow. Is he watching? Don't tell me, I'll be nervous. I was by sugar. <laughs> you know that's true. Sugar, oil. And what else? Flour. Mm, buy two. Whoa. the store wipe wipe 
Yeah. We can't put names on it yet, but that's a good one. Okay, I want another one. You have a friend who was a Navy pilot and had an incident on a carrier before? Very, very expensive mistake. Did he put his uh, F-14 down on the belly of a carrier and suffer from night blindness? Does he work for JAG now? Hey, chat. Did you know that he's, he hasn't been around for a while, but uh, Big O, it's uh, Jerry's birthday today. People in the Discord told me, they were like, dude, it's going to be Jerry's birthday today. I have no idea where he is. You know how it is here. People just come and go. People be around solid uh, 10, 12 months and then just leave and come back from a vacation. Be like, I was on vacation. It's like, oh, cool. Do I need to pay the bills? Mm, I don't know. It's automatic. Like, it will automatically pay the bills in the game for you. But everything's paid. Yeah, it's Mr. Excitement's birthday today. I sent him a message. I didn't hear back. I'm assuming he's very busy. He's on a secret mission. Uh-oh. That was supposed to be a secret shit. All right, well. Uh, happy birthday, Jerry. <laughs> I have no idea what he's doing. Sometimes here people are like cats. You just leave the the food and the water bowl out. And you know they're only alive because it's empty when you come back. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Everybody gets busy. Conveniently, I bet you, Indrid will get busy when we go to play the kebab game again. Or Bradford will get busy when we go to play Construction Simulator again. Go skiing. That's cool though. I can't blame her. Skiing's only like in the a uh, couple months a year. Harry and Rick do that too, where they go to the well. Harry and Rick go to the pinnacle of the Alps, the highest of quality. For these two, they don't go together or anything. They just happen to go like in this. Maybe, maybe they're not going to the Alps. Maybe they're going to some sort of a. A trucking convention and they don't want to tell me about it kind of suspicious that those two disappear at the same week I mean the wit you know winter's not long but they kind of appear at the si they go to at the same time so hmm Those two are going to like big, big O Truck Con. I know that's that's what Rick was doing a couple weeks ago. He was in some, it's called like Agroteca, Agroteca or something. It's some massive event in Germany where all the European and probably American manufacturers get together uh, to sell farming equipment. And I just want to go to see that. That just seems like it'd be amazing. Just to check that out, for sure. Man, doing this all ahead of time is just awesome. We're up to the level of a dollar general. Yes, we've reached the pinnacle, the zenith of convenience stores. Uh, as our store is to a dollar general, as Swift is uh, to trucking as we are to uh, dollar general. Mm-hmm. 
Just work it out that way. Oh, uh, pasta. I wanted to buy pasta. Again. Yeah, the, the storeroom is over here, but the thing I don't like is that we can't go into the back of the store. And I understand why at the moment. The way this game works is that the um, the w whenever we buy more space, the the walls expand. So we just get more room. So if there was to be a, uh, a storeroom, I guess what the developer could work on is get rid of this storage room here. And just make it link onto the building. But... The, but just make a door that gets further and further away each time that you buy more territory. Like, I, I think they haven't figured out how to get the room to save all the stuff and then move the room. But I really think there should be a back room, you know? Otherwise, if we put a ton of stuff in here, we still have to carry it in one by one and do all the... You know, and that's extra... It's extra work. So I hope they end up making, a like, a back room. Otherwise, I just throw stuff on the floor because it's just the easier way to do things. Because I... I could buy a storeroom for $1,000, but then that's $1,000 less I have to spend on products. And that's annoying. Shampoo and hand soap. And milk. Man, that juice goes really quick, too. People buy the hell out of orange juice and apple juice like crazy. Yeah, we can't hire stalkers yet, but... Eventually, I wonder how the game will be fun. If, if you're not doing any of the checkout, and if you're not stocking any items, the only thing I think you'd still be required to do is manage the store by buying more space and then setting up the uh, shelves and such which would be cool and then also like painting the floors and you know cha changing the floor and other things like that would be cool okay so what do we got um okay let's do a walk around real quick all right cereal's pretty good peanut butter's pretty good M yep pasta okay a little bit more pasta soda Pasta, soda, juice. Milk, I think, is okay. Eggs look fine. Maybe more flour. Okay. Pasta. Hope we have enough money for this. Apple juice. Apple. Oh. Yo yo. Still clicking. I forgot you can hold that.
this flower. Okay, some things are missing here and there, but it should be fine. Like milk, we could probably restock, but that's all right. White pasta's good. The red stuff's good. I, I think we're okay. We'll be short on a thing here or there, but we can always restock. I think we're good. And then, chat, we got to start thinking about a license. We want to buy, like, a new thing. And maybe we'll take out another loan, because that moved things along nicely, but we just got to pay that back. So, like, every other day, we could probably take out a loan and pay it back. Especially if we're making a ton of money on toilet paper. Anyway, the prices seem fine, so let's go. Begin! You know what we're gonna you know we're gonna listen to this time, chat? Here's what we're gonna listen to for customers coming in. We're gonna get all excited now. You ready? As soon as people enter, we're we're gonna go for it. We're going in. Gonna wait for one person to come in, and then it begins. It's gonna begin. Get ready. We're almost there. We're almost locked in. Need our first customer to come on in. Anytime. Here they come. Capitalism begins. Here we go. It begins. Go! Oh, are you guys ready to check out? Oh, okay, yeah. Thanks for coming into the store. Okay. Bueller. Bueller. My God, look at all this big business going on. Money, baby. Damn, can you guys hear the profit margins? Holy hell. Listen to those profit margins. Damn. Rock it out.
good. Good. Oh, jackpot, bruh. What about toilet paper? Boxes are running low. Oh, God. Wow, ma'am, you having a party? Damn. That come? Almost done. Oh. Guys are fed. $111, oh my god, ma'am. Big spender. Big spender. Oh, there's another bottle. Four fifty. Two quarters next. Fifty sixty, let's go. Eighty, eighty. Oh, I think we did it. We won capitalism. Oh my God. Sponsored by K Swiss and Huffy. Oh, 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 extendo oh, round. There's still a lady in here. Oh, I won. I beat what's his name. <laughs> I served like eighty-three customers. This dude like did seven. <laughs> <laughs> Double Dare. That's what that was from. I'm Mark Summers. Who wants to win a bike? Fly all the way to Florida to win a $70 bike. At best. All right, well, that was exciting.
Turn all of our crap back in. Peanut butter. Uh, yellows, okay. Damn! Alright, so we just got a little bit of pasta, toilet paper, still more of that. Shampoo. Put up the champ, champ. Oh, it's all good. Okay. And what is that? Orange juice? And I hope the devs uh, put lights into the freezers, because it's kind of... Kind of hard to see. All right, that's good enough. Yep, we're good. All right, sixteen hundred bucks again. Man, uh, let's pay our bills. Ah, we can take out a big old loan, chat. We're we're good. Okay, we're not going to get bills till tomorrow. We could do another product license, which will unlock more cheese. And tuna and stuff. We have a little bit more space for that. Like, we could put the tuna... At, at this point, we could just start mixing and matching. We got as organized as we could, but we could put tuna and some other stuff here. And then... Uh, wipe out the milk freezer... The fridge here. Wipe out the yogurt freezer here, fridge, and then that gives us two more spots for the new cheese types. We got options. All we gotta do is just provide more stuff to people and then they'll just be happier. Because in the upper right corner, if we can get to level 20, we got our second cashier, so we don't have to worry about a huge line anymore. Then we can just put money into, it'll basically be uh, expansion, shelving, and then license. we got to expand the store to fit the shelves to then put new products on there. So that would have to be the order. We'd have to buy the, the space first. Because we could buy the license, but then if we don't have the money to expand the store, it's like we just threw money away. It's like buying a truck and not putting gas in it or something. Like, no money for fuel. That would be that would be bad. But this game is good. I like this game. I can see why so many people have been playing it, including myself. Because I like video games. Video games are fun. All right, everybody, that's all the time we have tonight. Thank you very much for joining me for an extendo stream on... Oh, apparently it says Helldivers 2 in the game name. That's weird. I changed that. But anyway, uh, thanks uh, for reading the title at least, guys. Uh, let's see. I'll change that now for later. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. It was right on Twitch, but not on YouTube. I'll uh, see you all tomorrow morning for the exciting conclusion for uh, Pacific Drive. It looks like we're about to, towards the end of that one. Maybe. We'll see. But uh, come on in and join us for that one. And then we'll be doing some more cool stuff in the midday and afternoon. We'll figure it all out. Big stuff coming. Um, if you have missed it, a new video on the channel of a new game coming soon that looks wacky and weird. And I'm excited to uh, play that one whenever the chance, that whenever we get a chance, whenever the time comes. So thank you again, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you all uh, tomorrow. Thanks again, folks, for being here. We'll see you all next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye.